I think what attracts Elena to Drake uh, initially is obviously the mystery and the adventure that sort of surrounds him. I think that Drake's a you know really charming guy. He knows he's obviously been able to kind of get through life on you know his smiles and his handshakes and other things. Uh, fine. <laughs> Drake but smiles. I think, uh, I think honestly, one of the great things about what attracts her to him is kind of their chemistry and their partnership. That she gets him because she's similar to him in her drive and her stubbornness and her, you know, her curi curiosity for the past and you know an unraveling story. So she understands that about him and is initially attracted to the danger of him. I think what what attracts Elena to Drake is his vulnerability, and I think that's what a lot of uh, women who are fans of the game really seem to like. He, he's, he's just that, that ordinary guy who, who you know, is uh, just doing the best he can. Uh, and he's just put in these unbelievable circumstances. When I almost lost you before, You're not I, gonna... I just can't do that again. Of course, he is the, the charming, gallivanting hero that tends, yeah, to, tends to get into situations. But what attracts Drake to Elena? Who? Yeah. You're, you got to finish that part. Oh, Elena? Yeah. The, is that the blonde one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think what attracts uh, Drake to Elena the most is just the fact that she's compassionate. She's mm -hmm. intelligent. She's, mm -hmm. um, we're talking about Elena. Yeah, so just I know. relax. I know. Let's just cool the jets, mm -hmm. cover it all up. Very cool. Uh, she's somebody who, um, who recognizes his vulnerability. Oh, you can? You haven't got much time. Go. He seems to me as the the charming rogue who really needed a hug. <laughs> it's just the most simple way to, to put it. He just um, tries so hard and you know, he just you know, has, has gone through so much in his life. And she's the one person who's um, you know, really just kind of put her arm around him and said, you know, everything's going to be okay. And I think, uh, I think everybody. a couple times too. Yeah, but I think it's something that, you know, human beings in general, like that, that feeling of, um, you know, just being needed and, and uh, just, being, uh, just being held every now and then. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I definitely think that, you know, uh, with the adventure comes obviously the romance, the risk, the going through things together, the bonding. And so when you kind of, when that sort of wraps up, I think what we see at the end of every game is to, we see them sort of on this, you know, on this verge of what is next? Can we handle the mundane as something? And we kind of only seem to be able to function in a kind of chaotic world. All right, what is all this crap Nate, no, you're giving you me about Sully? with me? Those guys are not here for historical research and neither are you. And so do they create those things as a way to function or, you know, do those things come to them just because of who they are? I, I don't know. But I think that that's something that Elena constantly kind of throws out there to, to Nate is, is what's his, his need and his drive to always be in that sort of adventure place. And it's because people need to play video games. Come on, admit it. You love all this as much as I do. No. No, not anymore. I think that a lot of fans actually are hoping for uh, some semblance of something to happen between the two of them. Here's and a I tip. Nobody dies. I definitely think that they will be rewarded. It's pretty exciting, actually. But we can't say, because it's, it's, a, it's a great thing about the game. I can't say because I don't remember. <laughs> that is true. I, was, uh, I, was, I fell off a camel uh, here in Jordan. and. Uh, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs>